Welcome back to our channel. My name is Fred Bergeron. In today's uh, video, I will show you how to bring a GX controller online with the Prodigy GX server for the first time. This is very important, obviously, because the GX controller is the brain of the Prodigy GX system. You see that it has an integrated Ethernet port, and this is what we will use to initially connect to the hardware for the first time. For this video, I'm using a GX training kit. This is the same kit that we use um, with the, you know, uh, the uh, GX certification uh, training, the two days training. Um, it is also something you can purchase for your own uh, testing. It's very useful to bring to the system to clients and show them how the system works. Uh, but also it's good for your technicians to practice before going live on the field. So this kit includes the 4-amp DIN rail power supply. It's a fully supervised power supply. I have the GX2 door controller with Ethernet on board. This is how we will connect my laptop to the GX controller and then do the initial programming to bring it online. I have an entry reader and keypad and an exit reader with the alarm keypad. To start, we'll need to open the GX controller web interface. The default IP address is 192.168.1.2. So let's open up the browser and I'll show you how it is programmed. So as you see, the default IP is this. Um, the newer controller firmware comes with HTTPS enabled by default. So remember, you must put HTTPS in front of the address, otherwise you won't be able to connect to the web interface. The controller will ask you to create a, an admin account with a password um, before you can log in into the interface. So there's no default login. You must create one the first time you open up the, uh, the controller's web. So I want to put admin. Let me create a new password. Make sure it is as complex as possible. This device will be on the network, so it's important. Perfect. So now I'm on the main page. What you want to do is to go to settings. The first thing you want to do is to copy the serial number of the controller. We will need it in the next couple steps, all right? Confirm the IP address, the subnet mask, the gateway, and the DNS server your client wants you to use. If it's on their network or if it's on your network, just define the range or the, you know, the IP address you want to use. All right. You need to put the um, event server IP address. In this case, my laptop is the GX server. Okay. Um, but in any case, the IT specialist on site will give you an IP address for your GX server. So this is what we call event server number one. This is very important. So your software will connect to the controller to download changes and send commands. Let's say if you want to unlock a door or, um, you know, disarm a partition or an area. But then the, the controller will send new events and status changes to the server using the event server number one. All right. When you're done, you want to save changes and then hit sorry the restart button which will basically do a full power cycle of the controller and apply the changes another option will be to power down and power up the controller to save changes but you need to fully restart the panel otherwise it will keep on using the, the default IP address now we're ready to open the Prodigy GX software to, to start the communication process with the, this new GX controller under the sides tab we go to controllers Remember in the last step, we copied the serial number of the controller. This is very important. This is how the software will identify incoming events from the controller and incoming status changes, right? With the serial number and the IP address. So here I copy the serial number of the controller. We want to enter the IP address of the controller. All right, by default, we don't need the username and password. This is for another feature uh, called the single record download service. We assign the download server. This way, any changes you make inside Protege will be automatically downloaded to the controller, like adding a user, adding a new area or door, a new access level, anything you create when you save, you don't have to worry. The system is already downloading to the panel. Okay. So again, serial number, IP address, I select the correct download server, and I save. It typically takes maybe 20 seconds for the controller to go online. If it's a system that was very busy while it was offline, um, it may take a little bit longer uh, for the events to be saved to the database. You see, I'm already online. The download status has failed, mainly because I didn't make any changes so far, but I can 
for the download where you see actually it, it, it came online, so that's perfect. So I know my controller is online. I know it, the last download was successful, right? If I refresh um, the page, you see the last time a successful download was done. So it's today at 2.30 p.m., all right? If you have any issues with the communication status, so it stays offline, for instance, make sure you open your firewall for incoming port 22,000. All right, that's very important. This way the controller can send events to the GX software database. All right, from the software to the GX controller, we use port 21,000 for the download of new changes and 21,001 for the status requests and control port. So when you want to update the status of a zone or of an area, uh, this is the port that will be used. Or when you, also when you make a command on a device, such as a door, for instance, you want to dash the door unlocked, this port must be open. You see now that my system is online. If you're still having issues with you know, the online status of the controller, you can click on the diagnostic windows, one for the download server, right? So you see here, go, it says you know, the download was successful. And also under the event server diagnostic window, you'll see that the controller is, uh, the system, sorry, is ready to receive events from the controller, so the port is open. Again, thanks for watching. If you have any special requests regarding ICT products and features or any of the other products that Inaccess is offering, please comment below and it will be a pleasure for us to do this um, tutorial for you. Please subscribe to our channel, it's very important to us. See you soon.